Hello guys, last week I've been practicing with Zebra some more, especially with the envelopes because I wanted to restrict myself in... I wanted to make a sound basically that that doesn't use all the all the oscillators and all the FM functions and just be able to, to make a good sound with, for example, one oscillator and um, some envelopes. The um, first thing that I got what was this sound which is uh, just a note one note and I did use all four envelopes but I didn't I think in this island didn't or oh, later on I ad added these uh, MSEGs but I think They are not. They are not triggering anything right now. Uh, just um, just a filter. We can disable that because the cool thing about the zebra envelopes is that you can sync them to your uh, song tempo. Normally, I think when you open a new envelope, it will be set to this or this or this, um, which is uh, ten seconds, for example. But these lower three, these are um, measures and beats. So this is a quarter note, this is a bar, and this is four bars. So what I did is I well let's open well let's make a new sound for the for tutorial's sake. Now you can see below here this is set to envelope one. Envelope one is set to a quarter and a, a quarter note and the attack is at 25. Well that is for a reason because I wanted everything to um, stay synced so I need to set this to logical uh, logical values so if this is one um, if, the, if the whole envelope is now a whole note then 50% would be an, an 8 note yes and 25% would be a 16 note so if I set the attack to 25 and the decay to 25 as well, I will have a total of um, an 8 note. And then if I loop that, I think I'm just gonna open a new sound for this one. Uh, clear and all sound. So yeah like this and set it to the one fourth and set it to linear which is important because then you're absolutely sure that it stays in sync now I set this lane to envelope one because that's the one we're gonna use I'm gonna disable my effects for now okay and I'm gonna turn off the arpeggiator. There we are. Sorry about that. So now, if I set this fall rise all the way to fall and I loop the decay section, you can hear uh, when I turn on the metronome. Now it's doing sort of um, triplets, but if I set the um, decay to 50% perfect 8 notes and if I set this to 25% it's gonna uh, divide those 8 notes into 16 and then when I put the attack up to 25 as well you're gonna get 8 notes again but with <coughs> I'm sorry but with a long attack So that's just for the for the first one, and this way you can you can uh, really create some crazy sounds because now if you apply these envelopes to the um, oscillator effects as well, for example envelope two set it to one fourth uh, linear and now we're gonna let's be adventurous and try uh, thirty second notes. What we have to do is then. Remember, 50 in, in this mode, 50% is 8 notes, 25 is 16, so it should be 
a 12.5 for 30 second notes. And of course you need to loop that. Right click on this knob and say loop decay. Let's try it on the tuning, That's I think that will be more obvious. Yeah, that's clearly 30 second notes. So that is what I did for the other sound and then um, I went a little crazy and I started in the mod matrix, I started to control envelopes with other envelopes. So now for example I can say envelope 2 is controlling the um, envelope 1, but so we choose. Uh, sustain would be pretty cool maybe. Mm, not cool enough. So let's choose maybe decay. See there, there we get some really interesting sounds. This is what you hear now is actually the envelope distorting because it's looping so fast and you can use that sound um, and filter it further and make some you can even make bass sounds out of it So to um, give you some more examples, I made some here. This one, for example, is also just one oscillator and I um, did use the oscillator effects and I did use the phasing and I even modulated the phasing and a lot of the, or not a lot, but some envelopes are controlling the other envelopes, like sustain. So everything stays perfectly in sync while, while at the same time I'm not using MSEGs, arpeggiators or stuff like that and I'm just using um, one note in my, in my sequencer. And then when you do decide to take it um, some further you can add um, a melody with uh, one extra oscillator for example. So I like that. And at the end here you can also hear that small distortion sound. Right there, that's um, also the the envelope distorting. So I hope you this will give you some ideas. Remember to um, set these to the to the lower three uh, options to to let them sync and set this to linear. And you can experiment with the other modes as well, but uh, it makes it a little bit harder. So have fun with that. Thanks.